mad about? I'm not mad. So I'm, what are you out here for? I'm here to rescue people from hell. How are you rescuing someone by, from hell? By telling what up YouTube, it's Godson Lance and I'm back with another video and today's video we're gonna be reacting to Charlotte Pride perverted crowd seeks to suppress street preaching I seen a couple seconds of the video and I'm basically it's like he's at a gay pride parade and he's preaching Jesus Christ Now it's a lot of false preachers out there that's saying it's okay to be a uh, homosexual and, and follow Jesus Christ But if you go to Leviticus, it says in the Bible for man lie with a man and it's an abomination and they shall be put to death I don't know exactly what quote it is but I know it's in Leviticus for sure if you look up Leviticus it'll be in there but now that Jesus had came and died on the cross for our sins all you have to do is repent confess your sins and say that you sorry and don't do it no more I'm very proud of this man though he he He's standing up for the for the Lord. He's making sure he's trying to get these people in the right position. And deep down in their bodies, they know that they're not doing what's right. They know that God don't like that. Disclaimer before the video starts, I don't have nothing against you. I don't have nothing against nobody that like the same sex. I don't have nothing against you. All I know is God don't like it. He hates the sin, but loves the sinner. But hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you like the channel. In Jesus' name, let's get into it. He's warning them. I'm warning you. I love you. I want you to be saved. I want the Holy Spirit to come live inside of you and change your life. He can do it. He can do it. Like I just said, God do love you, but he don't like the sin that you in. He don't like the sin that you in. Get out of that sin, then he will love. You. God hates the one that does iniquity, that practices iniquity. You must repent. repent. He does not love you if you do not repent. He does not accept you if you do not repent. If you hold on your sin, there's no forgiveness for you. If you embrace what God hates, there's no forgiveness for your sin. You must repent. You must believe in Jesus. You must trust in him. Jesus Christ can save you, but you have, you have to repent. These are spirits in these people. Like it's literally spirits in these people that's that's like Jezebel spirits in these people that is like manifesting. I am telling you good news today. Good news about about how to be reconciled to God. I'm telling you that you need to be saved from hell. I don't want you to go to hell. I don't want you to suffer in never ending agony. I want you to have peace with God. I'm telling you how to be reconciled to God, and I'm telling you. I'm telling you that you cannot, you cannot hold on to that, that sin of homosexuality and have peace with God at the same time. Hey, I got much respect for bro. I got a lot of respect for bro because. He out there in front of all of them people and telling them the truth. He really out there telling them like, bro, it's not right, bro. It's not, it's not what it's supposed to be like. I'm proud of bro, for sure. No, you need to follow Jesus. No, ma'am, that's not true. You must repent. You must repent of your sin. The higher God that you believe in, he's the only one that can judge. You cannot. Goodbye. I'm warning you. This is not love. It's not love. God defines what love is. She said the one above that we believe in is the only one that can judge. And if she read the Bible, she would see that what she's doing is not something that he would judge you righteously for. You get what I'm saying? You would see that. This is not love. This is not love. God says what love is. God is the one who says what love is. God is the one who defines what love is. This is not love. Sexual perversion is not love. God tells us what love is. Excuse me, can you talk to me? What, what are you, what are you so mad about? 
I'm not mad. So what are you out here for? I'm here to rescue people from hell. How are you rescuing someone from hell? By, by telling them how to be reconciled to God. Okay, but if God's supposed to love all, why can't they love them? God doesn't love if all, God's man. God's supposed to love everybody, and if he made all of us, That's not he true. I'm not them. mad. I'm not mad. You seem a little upset. I'm you here to tell people hell. that there is forgiveness. Bro, he telling y'all the truth, bro. This is sin. If you put your faith in Jesus and repent, there is forgiveness. But you must repent. But you you can't to. continue to hold on to that perversion. You can't hold on to sexual morality. Do you want to stop a date? Like, are you wait, 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 can you, you, can you get that on my face, please? Hey, man, I'm trying to tell people how to be safe from hell. Yeah, I need, I need to tell people how to be reckless. I'm telling people that they're in danger of hell. There's a difference between you and us. We're good Right, right. Friends, I love you enough to warn you, to tell you that homosexuality is sin. That God hates that. I'm trying to preach, man. people how to be reconciled to God. I'm telling people. Do you think that what you're doing and judging people is of God? I have to make righteous judgment according to what the Bible says. The Bible says, says judge no one. No, the Bible says the, the Bible spiritual says, person the judges Bible all says, things. The Bible says correct them for what they did. Don't condemn them, but correct them. Correct their sin. You see that they're doing something wrong, correct them. And this is what he's doing. So she's not understanding fully. Like I said in, in my TikTok videos, it's a, the Bible is a spiritual book. So she don't understand it fully. The Bible says, judge not my anointed. I Who have to judge to according to scripture. Who are you to judge? I have to judge according to what the Bible says. The Bible He's doing right, bro. Said this is perversion. Right. The Bible tells no, really. us that this is perversion. I've been born again. I've been born again. Spirit. See, see God. Hey, that spirit. Hey, that's what the spirit make you do. He don't care if they beat him up. He don't care if they hitting him. He don't care about none of that. Because guess what? The spirit in him knows that his life is with the Lord. But he knows that their life is not with the Lord. He knows this. This is why the spirit is within him, leading him to do this. Leading him to go out here to speak to these people, to tell these people to repent and get their life changed because he know that he know their destiny right now this is that's why he said he love them he got a heart for them so i'm proud that he's telling the truth whether you believe that that's the truth or not i'm saying it is it's the truth read the bible you know you believe in god read the bible see what god likes and see what god don't like that's all you got to do this is what he's saying right now is it's lining up to what the bible says so that's all you got to do Uh, he, he, he quoted scripture and everything. He know he's doing. Friends, I'm telling you what the Bible says. I didn't make this up. This is what God's word says. This is what God says in the book of First Corinthians. Listen, bro. Like you see these people though, like the people that's not screaming, jumping around. They know deep in their heart, bro, that's not right, bro. They know deep in their heart that it's not right. You see, they just looking at him. And they know in their heart, they probably came up in the Christian background. And their family don't like him because of what they did. Because, listen, they know in their heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. And he, he's going to judge righteously. He did not put man on this earth to lay with man. Or woman on this earth to lay with woman. Not Like I said before, I'm not talking about anybody any type of way or judging anybody i'm just telling you what the bible says just as much as he is chapter six read it it says that homosexual people it says that many practice homosexuality are not going to hurt the kingdom of god Do you believe in slavery? 
Yes what, kind, no. what, what kind of slavery? What do you mean? Slavery, slavery, slavery. Well, there's biblical slavery. No, in the you old... don't believe in slavery. Do you think that they can tell me what to do because I'm black? Yes or no? No, I don't believe in shadow the slavery. The, the Bible says the, the, that you can own slaves as long as they can get up and walk. As long yes, as they can get yes, up and walk. right. So you can't right. pick and choose. Would you, would you no believe? Me. Well, I'm, I'm, against, I'm against shadow slavery. Slavery is slavery. But, but there's, there's actually a biblical form of slavery. I'm telling you that you need Jesus Christ like today. Like I said earlier, she's not understanding exactly how it is. She's not reading it with the Spirit of God in her. So if she read with the Spirit of God in her, she will understand exactly how it is. She will understand um, the way that it is back then. So it's more than just um, white people being enslaved. I mean, white people having black people as slaves is more than just that. I'm telling you how to be reconciled to God today. That is good news for you. I'm telling you good news. for those who repent. There is love and forgiveness for those who repent. But if you hold on to your sin, there is no forgiveness of your sin. God bless him, bro. The program has... God bless him. God bless him. Proud of him for that, bro. Real proud of him, bro. Hey, but if you made it to the end of this video, I thank you for watching the whole video. Once again, I ain't got nothing against these people. But the Bible says all must confess that Jesus is Lord and Savior. Repent for your sins, not just the people that's in this video, but everybody. If you are adulterer, if you're looking at a woman like you lusting at a woman, that's a sin. You committed sin in your heart already. If you're looking at another man's wife and lusting at her, basically looking at her like, I got a strong desire towards you sexually. That's a sin already. Repent for your sins. Read the Bible. Understand that the Lord is coming back soon. And heaven and hell is real. This is why this man is out here preaching his word and telling these people. Because when the spirit hits your body, it starts to get your mind in a position that it needs to be in. It starts to clear your mind. It starts to let you understand that what you're doing is wrong. It's proof that the Lord Jesus Christ was on this earth and died for our sins. That's why he came and died for our sins. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe. But without further ado, in Jesus' name, amen.